Hello everybody and uh, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be having a look at uh, this. This is uh, a Hasgawa model kit of the, uh, the intruder. Um, probably wondering why I'm filming this, oh, this uh, intro and possibly the outro outside here. Well it's because I can. <laughs> and uh, you know, trying out some new things for the channel. You know, hopefully the plan is to uh, start putting more videos up regularly, at least once a month, maybe twice a month, depending how things go. You know, I've got a full-time job and everything, and uh, yeah, excuses, excuses. I know what you're thinking. Anyway, that aside, uh, let's take a look at this uh, model kit right here. Oh, by the way, do you like the uh, titles, the intros? Like, uh, here it is again, just in case you missed it. Yeah, I learned it from this woman on this channel here. Yeah. Go and uh, have a look today. if you want to learn something. And uh, this also, this other channel yes, as well, I made uh, this does some uh, very decent uh, and a bonus today um, is that I tutorials and uh, similar things. Uh, if you're using iMovie and you have an Apple computer. If you don't, then uh, well, go watch them anyway. They're, they're pretty good in my opinion. Anyway, on with the kit. <laughs> Well, hello everybody. So, this, as you can see, is a Hasgawa kit number JS023, US Navy attack plane, Grumman A6A intruder, international 172 scale. Um, so, this uh, this kit was, as you can see, it's pretty old, it's very bashed up. And according to Scalemate, if I check the internet there, this kit was a uh, new tool back in. 1968 pretty much the same time that I was new to it really <laughs> uh, so new to 1968 and this particular new box was uh, from 1971 so what we have here is a uh, 55 year old 54 yeah 55 year old kit 54 year old kit 54 54 something like that what we have here is a pretty old kit and uh, as you can see, there's the uh, the it's been around the places, but uh, anyway, let's take a quick look around the slightly battered box. As you can see here, it's got hails written on here. So, from what I can understand, this was uh, marketed or sold by Hales, despite being made by Hasegawa. And on this side of the box, you can see uh, Hasegawa Grumman Six Intruder, same information, same picture, uh, manufactured by Hasegawa. Says. Says that Kusho Company Limited, an uh, address there in uh, Shizuoka Prefecture. Let's focus on it. Shizuoka Prefecture in Japan. Hales printed in England. So, you could almost say that this is a British kit made by the Japanese. Uh, on this side of the box, uh, basically the same information as on the cover. On this side, let's get from my way. We have uh, adverts for some other 172nd scale model kits made by Hasgawa. And on the other side of the box, which is this side of the box, same as the other side of the box. Except this time somebody's written £12 in pencil. So I'm not sure if uh, this is what it cost my sister who bought it for me for Christmas. Though I didn't get it until last month, March, at her birthday party, surprisingly enough. <laughs> uh, you know, big thank you to my sister, by the way, for getting this for me. It's a very nice kit. Uh, or, just like when it was new, it cost £1.60. So I don't know if that was £1.60 in 1971, or because that's rather a lot of money for 1971. It's probably a lot later than that. Anyway, let's take a look at what's in the box. So it's a side opening box. And we have plastic and bits of paper. Right then, instruction manual here. And the paper starting to go a little bit brown, but it's okay. And the bag, still sealed, still plastic. Yeah, I'm wondering whether I should open this now or not now. Uh, yeah, anyway. Manual starts at the beginning. Structure manual, little folded piece of paper, 
So on the front there, there's a little bit of information about the aircraft itself. Grumman A6 Intruder, back in service in 1964. Uh, X, all sorts of stuff there. Down below you've got uh, a list of uh, other 172nd scale kits, collector's kits in fact, Hasgauer and Hales. Packed in England by AA Hales Limited, Hinkley, Leicestershire. So the instruction manual is one big fold out sheet of paper. Let's take it to the beginning. Let's get you all in. So then we we'll start here with uh, some images. So pages one and two. I'll call it pages one and two. Uh, you got uh, images of the sprues. One, two, three, four sprues. Other parts and parts numbered. And then, interesting enough, assembly begins with weapons. Putting bombs onto a uh, bomb holder, what you call this thing, braces. Putting uh, fuel, central fuel tank assembly, other full wing full fuel tanks. Wing fuel tank assembly under wing. Then you go to section four where you uh, insert the cockpit into the bodywork. So put the uh, crew into the into their seats. Uh, assembly of cockpit, ray dome and fuselage. There you go. Uh, section five. Uh, putting the canopy on top and. Uh, Fixing of instrument panel, canopy, air intake, exhaust nozzle, air brake and pitot tube. Hmm. So I'm ask them to tell us what we're doing. Uh, section 6, putting the wings on, assembly of main wing and stabiliser. And uh, part 8, putting the bombs on, landing hook, wheels and covers. Over the page, reference drawing for painting decals. For painting and decals. Oh my God, there we go. So there you go. So am I going to build it in flight or not in flight? I don't know yet. And then over here, essentially on the back of the uh, manual, let's get, uh, get fill the frame. Let's go. So A6 intruder marking and painting guide. So we've got two marking guides. Uh, the first one is a. Uh, 115th attack squadron uh, and then you've got the uh, 65th attack squadron so two marking guys the top and bottom top and bottom are uh, the uh, side elevation of the vehicle or the side of the vehicle last same vehicle to the right side of fuselage one and two it says that. and the first, that's basically it next bit you want to get into it. Yes, I do. Lots of space here, so I shall uh, find a decent pair of scissors and just cut it open. Let's look, look at the decals first. Echo sheet again, slightly brown, but uh, still usable, I think. Uh, zero nest deco there of the uh, instrument panel, and lots of colours. Wondering if these are worth painting first or not. Mm -hmm. Anyway, there you go. That's the deco sheet. Put things to the side there, and the plastic. Happily, nothing has fallen off the sprue yet, so start at the top. First thing we have is the uh, clear parts. Camera can't see them to focus on it. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Now, uh, I think they are slightly scratched and marred from uh, being able to rattle around inside the bag there against all the plastic. But, uh, Nothing that can't be polished out, I think. What's the clarity of these things? Let's have a look. Hmm. 
Hmm, not too bad, I guess. So, so there's the uh, cover. Interesting how they've uh, designed this, because it uh, goes uh, the two parts go side by side together. So that's the right side of the uh, cockpit. That's the left side of the canopy. It's just a big canopy, so two pilots sit, sit, sitting side by side. Right, let's look at uh, this sprue here. This is... Well, it doesn't say which sprue it is. It's just a sprue with bits on it. Uh, yeah, so that's the uh, right side of the body. I can see these uh, lines, what do you call these things? Anyway, these uh, lines are raised, which is... Uh, they're very fine, albeit raised, so not too much of an issue there. Fuel tank there, main main landing gear, main wheels there, uh, exhaust, engine exhaust there, lots of little bombs, and uh, the thing for carrying the bombs. I can't remember anything today, I should remember what all these things are, but uh, I know so the camera's not focusing. So anyway, that's sprue, let's call it the first sprue we looked at, sprue one. Sprue number two, ah, piece of fun. That's sprue number two. Has the uh, ray dome, the other side of the body, from, uh, nose gear, and uh, uh, another fuel tank. Now the bottom of the aircraft there, interesting. A uh, little bit of little bits of flash here and there. Uh, nothing to write home about really. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. It will be interesting to see how well this uh, kit goes together. But, uh, my experience, these kits did go together fairly well, despite their age. So anyway, there you go. That's that side. Next sprue, and I believe this comes from up there. Let's put that away. Like that, pin. Like that, maybe. So this is the uh, wings, I believe this is the lower half of the wings, uh, jet intakes, a couple of crew there, the pilot figures, uh, air brakes over here, and more bits of bits and stuff, uh, I believe this will be the uh, landing gear bay door covers, yeah, landing gear bay door covers there and there. Uh, wing partly off there. Take a quick look at this part here. As you can see, the uh, little lines are uh, very fine. That uh, they have to look bigger on the screen, on them in, in camera than they do in real life. They're very fine. Though they are raised panel lines. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> raised panel lines over this kit. So. And lastly, but not least, top side of the wings and another fuel tank and the landing gear and landing gear struts. Uh, intake air splitters. See if we can get a better look at this. So there you go. Uh, 170 second scale. Grumman A6A intruder. So this would be nice to add alongside the other A6A intruder. Actually it's not an intruder, it's the Prowler that I've got as well. That's the uh, reconnaissance version of this aircraft with four crew, so I just want to reconnaissance, air, air jamming, whatever. Uh, I think I may have made a video of that, I don't know yet. It'll be on the channel sooner or later sometime the next few weeks other things are appearing on the channel but uh, until then hope you enjoyed this little look so anyway back to me outside in the wild well there we have it that's the uh, first look at the uh, this little Hasgar 170 second scale kit um, if you like this video do all the uh, nice things and uh, subscribe and like etc tell your friends and all that if you didn't like it tell me why and uh, maybe I can do better next time and uh, anyway thank you for watching and uh, have fun modeling